kayaking was not always a big passion of mine, even to this day, I'm still pretty into my land activities. But I'm forever searching for new places to go and explore. And uh, this trip provided a great opportunity to do just that. In a place like Hong Kong, having a car is not necessarily that liberating. Whereas having a kayak, it definitely is. I'm not necessarily looking to do it in the quickest time, or break any records, but simply as a means to explore. Get out there and go for it. Let's go around Hong Kong. What I'm doing is breaking this trip into legs from here to Lama, Lama Island, to the, the border. Then transport the kayak over towards Starling Inlet. And from there, up to Tung Ping Chau and around, eventually back to Sai Kung again. Bit of a slow start this morning, but I think we've got everything we need. Clothes, and cooking stuff, camera gear, and food, and tent, sleeping bag, etc. So we'll stick it all in the kayak here and hit the road. That's a solid hour or so now. A quick pit stop in at this uh, cove here called Whiskey Beach. It's a really popular spot for paddlers. <laughs> Alongside the uh, Khao Sai Chao and Jin Island, but keeping relatively near shore uh, to use it as a windbreak from the easterlies. Pretty gorgeous day, but first day I'll take it. Got a little spot just out of harm's way. Spray deck on. Not gonna ask about. It's already half past three. This place is absolutely wild. Unbelievable. Oh. There she is. There's a wave breaking. Oh. By the time I got to the nine pins, it was getting pretty dark. So I didn't hang around, pitched the tent, put my feet up. Can't ever have enough hot sauce. Whack that in extra propulsion for tomorrow. Whoa. Filter coffee, a bit of fruit, and we're ready to go. Some big waves crashing up into the wild surf. There's this nine pin, we've got around it. Oh, it was really messy. <laughs> Baglin, it's a pretty long way, but that's our bearing now, no toy in the distance. It's 
amazing when you get around that headland. It's lovely though, the sea is very tranquil. So the idea is there to uh, go for a hike. Beautiful day for it. And I was lucky enough to, to arrive there on a day with no ferry. So the island was, was very calm, no one around. We're up and running, day three. Just leaving Potoy here. Plan is today around the uh, the outside here, Beaufort Island, and Stanley. And for now, we're going to set course for the tip of Aplay Chow, and from there cross the channel to North Lama. Pretty flat, nice temperature, about as relaxing as it can get, really. So just got to put a few hours in. Paddling today with uh, DJ, a good friend, a llama native. Plan is initially to paddle a little bit in the wrong direction, heading back east again, but uh, very quickly correcting course to get around Llama Island and then later in the day cross the channel to Chung Chao. Good morning, how are you? Very well. Beautiful day. It's absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic day to be out in the water. Ready to crack on? Let's get going. All right. got a internet show slash series called Drone and Phone. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we started off doing weekly 
uh, one day adventures around Hong Kong. We now have more than 200 uh, videos that we've made on different places around Asia, in fact all around the world. Awesome stuff. So, check it out. Big old power station there. Go right underneath the loading dock. DJ, pleasure as always. I'm going off to the bar. You've got about a two hour paddle over to Chung Chow, so good luck with that. Cheers. <laughs> Another mate, Mark, he's got a kayak over there on Chung Chow ready to go. And then we're going to paddle together the next leg up towards the border with China. Got his rig all set up. There we are. Yeah, excited. Down to the Soko Islands. So we're going to have a little recce round to see what we can find. And having done that, paddle up and find a spot there to camp for the night. There was a settlement for refugees fleeing the conflict in Vietnam. And it's incredible to go there now. It's just a clean slate. It's very little to show for the thousands of people that had to call that place home. Like some beer with your head. It's a bit more respectable. Another morning. Another coffee. Southland Tower is really gorgeous. We're now going to track along this southern coastline, pulling in at a secret spot, then onto Tayo, before paddling under the Macau Zhuhai Bridge and onto the island of Sha Chao.
approaching Sha Chow. It was unsightly, but it did allow us to make a really kick-ass bonfire that night. We were discussing last night how lucky we were to be here if you want to do the same thing in Scotland. You'd have to prepare to be wet. And I feel like this is our penance for being cocky. The blue sky popping out. We will rack up about 30 kilometers getting across from Sha Chao to Shenzhen Bay. The focal point of the whole day really is getting to Mai Po. That is pretty incredible. Shenzhen Bay Oyster Festival. Feels like a bloody festival. Nice fish. Serenity, mate. It did nothing like what I expected. <laughs> what did you expect? I don't know, some like sludgy, semi drained, like draining into the farmland. Yeah. No idea about this. Not a bad way to finish the day. And this leg of the trip, very cool. Can't say I've ever been anywhere like this in Hong Kong before. I have no idea of this. Two fifty k, and how many have you done? Oh, that's a good question. Is this seven day seven? Say average 25k a day, there's some 20s and some 30s, so um, 175. Yeah, Third leg. yeah, yeah, all the legs are pretty equal. In uh, about a year's time, me and some friends are going to attempt to be the first people to row the Northwest Passage, which is the Arctic route that links the Atlantic to the Pacific. Like, if you think of North America, over the top through the Arctic, like mm. between Greenland and North America, then coming out between Greenland and Russia, uh, Russia and America. And this is good training for long days in the saddle, you know. It's good training. It's time on the water. Time on the water, getting used to everybody gets seasick in you know, it. But the more time you spend to sea, the better you are at dealing with it. Just long days, like having to deal with headwinds. It's great training. And, and so I just love it. It just makes me excited for more adventure. I'm going to supervise. Are you going to supervise? Are you going to supervise? No. What do you think of your dad's kayak adventure? Uh, good, and it's really lovely. Dad 
is Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible is fat. <laughs> Third leg, solo. So we moved the kayak to Luck Kang. Got about 30k today to Tungping Chao. We'll pass Double Haven on the way, which is a really nice spot. Paddled there with Mark almost this time last year. And then uh, open water. Yes, these ants already making a, a home for themselves here. Any stowaways must be dealt with before we hit the seas. There we go, spray deck. So, got my swag. It's the case now of um, getting it all in. I thought it was a bridge. Well, it is, but it's also uh, sort of fenced off. There's uh, the one and only little village up the other end behind the beach there, so I'm going to check it out. Success. They didn't have much there, but they had cold beer. It's great coming here on a weekday. There is a ferry service, but it only runs on weekends. So if you come here through the week, you've pretty much got it all to yourself. There we go. Got the fire going pretty good. Cheers. This is pretty hot. Whew. Early start this morning. Crack dawn. Big day today, 50 kilometers. First half of it is getting back across Mers Bay, pulling into Tailong Wan. Lots of surfable waves, there we go. A lot of exposure here. I'm really excited to get around this headland. Bloody did it! Oh, come on. Hot cup of coffee. Refueled. That was a badly needed pit stop. There's still the owners to crack on and get around the spectacular coastline of Saiko and get home. Go for it. That's the arch. circle now. You can see over there it's the Nine Pin Islands.
what a wonderful thing to have done. Really fun, really enjoyable. I hope it inspires some people to go out and do the same or similar kinds of things.